everyone. I hope you're having a great week. You've made it past Wednesday. We're on the downward slide headed towards the weekend. Hope you're doing well. We're having a kind of a snowy middle of the week here in Lincoln, Nebraska, but I hope you're doing good wherever you're at. I'm Michael Halfhill, the lead pastor at the Piedmont Park Seventh-day Adventist Church. Just wanted to share a thought with you today. Are you tired? It's middle of the week. Are you tired? Are you worn out? Do you need some rest? I uh, got this uh, devotion thought from Mark Finley. I thought it was neat. I wanted to share it with you. It says, back in the 1930s, 1940s, uh, the Russians gradually introduced a five-day week. And the workers had a day off every week, but it wasn't a particular day of rest. And then in 1931, the five-day week was replaced by a six-day week. They tried that for a while and, and tried to have a day of rest um, every now and then after a six-day week, and, and that didn't work either. Uh, and so they returned to a seven-day week cycle. During the French Revolution in, in 1790s, uh, the atheistic government of France got rid of the seven-day week because, of course, you only find that coming from God in the Bible. And they changed that, and, and that experiment failed as well. It's amazing how here we are all these years later and we still have the seven-day week. And, and the seven-day weekly cycle is not based on the earth ro rotating. It's not based on the earth revolving around the sun. It's just given to us by God. And for some reason, it works. It's how we're wired for six days for work and then the seventh day, the seventh day of the week, Saturday, taking that day to rest, to get away from work and worry, to recharge, to be with loved ones, and to worship God. Uh, after all these years, it still works. We still need it. So if you're tired, if you're weary, I'd like to encourage you. Think about taking a Sabbath rest with God, resting with him, communing with him, reconnecting with him. Jesus said, come unto me and I'll give you rest. So I just want to encourage you. I know I get tired. I'm worn out. It's been a long week already and I need rest. So yes, we need daily sleep every day. Don't forget that. But we also need just the rest of getting away from work and worry and stress and reconnecting with those that we love, and reconnecting with God. So just wanted to encourage you to do that. And if you'd like to join us for worship this coming Saturday, we'll have our Bible study time at 930 here online. And then at 11 o'clock, we'll have our worship service online as well, YouTube and Facebook. And this week, we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit. So I know it'll be a blessing. I hope that you'll join us. Have a great rest of your week. And remember, get your rest. Take care, everyone. And let's take care of everyone.